Hello everybody, I hope you're doing good today. This video doesn't contain any copyrighted material. It contains public information readily available on anybody with an internet connection. So this is Bob's LinkedIn page. We'll have to ask Bob why he deleted his LinkedIn page. What is it he's trying to hide? I mean, if this is legit, he should be proud of this, you know? But no, he deleted his LinkedIn page sometime between the last conference, uh, the first conference in November of 2017, and uh, the, and today, sometime between then, I suspect it was right after the conference, and he was getting all the slack about uh or flack about FE Core and all that stuff. So there's also good reason that he's hiding something from the flat Earth community, or hiding something from the baller community or lied about his actual job titles but let's check it all out shall we remember Bob maybe you can answer my question why would you delete your LinkedIn page what are you hiding fact that you work for the CIA so current he has his own Denver network LLC company he does networking for companies Previous job, the Right Angle Computer Corporation on the right. Uh, Lockheed Martin, Associated Press. We all know Associated Pre Press is Matrix Central. That's CIA, that's CIA uh, headquarters right there. That's where all the network news get their propaganda to put on the airwaves for the day. Comes across that, you know, printer. <laughs> I wonder if they still use a dot matrix. Um... But yeah, there you go. And he also worked for the CIA as a as a military officer. How many people are in the military in the flat Earth community that are on the uh, self-appointed upper tier of flat Earth? Ask yourselves that. So uh, let's uh, check it out. What did Bob do for the Associated Press? I wonder. Well, there's his Denver Network LLC, 99 to present, 16 years, nine months. Uh, the right angle, we're going to have to check out these corporations too and do a little digging into them. Some of them sound like uh, CIA storefronts. The right angle computer corporation. And everything's like two, three years that he worked for these places. You know, I, I guess in that kind of line of work, I guess you can move around quite a bit. Places were opening and closing, you know, but... Also, I was like that, you know, I get to get a job, work there for four or five years, set bored with it, and I need to move something new. So anyways, he was a network system engineer for Lockheed Martin, satellite communications technician for Associated Press for two years and three months, from 1992 to 1994. Associated Press, CIA Central. Communications Technician, Field Engineer, Control Data Corporation, Syncor Technologies. Uh, oops, sorry about that. Let me get back to all that. I shouldn't use my little scroll knob. Um, computer uh, Communication Syncor, Pacific Tele Telesis. Seems you worked for a few of the uh, big telephone companies. Um... Terrestrial Microwave and Satellite Head in TOC Engineer. Hmm. Western Telecommunications Incorporated. Hmm. ATC Radar Technician for the Air Force. Um, FA Communication or Commercial uh, Instruments uh, Certificate. ATC Radar Technician. Um, like I say, I wonder how much of this is all padding. Uh, Warren Occupational Techni Technical Center, ASEE, Electrical, Electronic, and Communications Engineer Technology Technician. At least we could check this place out and see if Bob was actually there and got his ASEE, whatever that is. Um... Now I saw I found this interesting uh, uh, red flag started going up because I remember Patricia saying she used to live in Fresno. So what's the chances that Bob and Patricia have known each other for many, many, many years? In fact, going back to when they both lived in Fresno. 
I could swear Patricia said she worked for a small radio station in Fresno. I think that's in California, both in Fresno, California. Yeah, California State University, Fresno. So, um, we could check and see if he's actually got his uh, electrical engineer's degree there. I don't know if that's a bachelor's or what. But, but, but if all this is real and accurate, why would Bob hide it? Other than he's hiding that he worked for the CIA from the Flat Earthers, there's no other reason. Can you think of any? Please, if you do, put them down below. So let's go to the next page. Causes Bob cares about civil rights and social action. <laughs> Education, human rights, science, and technology. A Microsoft certified engineer. And here's the thing about this engineer stuff. He could call himself an engineer for Microsoft. That's what his job title is. He's allowed to do that. The only time he isn't allowed to call himself an engineer in most states is when the engineer, um, um, there's an engineer certification. In other words, your job uh, has to be certified because your engineer work puts people's lives at risk. You build buildings, bridges, so on and so forth. So if, if, if Bob is actually electrical, and it includes electrical engineer, if Bob is actually electrical engineer, then he could call himself an engineer. If he doesn't have his electrical engineer certification, then he can't. Because again, that's a, a, a job title that requires certification because it puts the members of public at risk. All right, so, but there you go. His private and commercials uh pilot license instrument rating multi-engine uh land certificate um december 1978 to present but um there you go you know um for me it's red flags why would uh bob work for uh <clears throat> the cia uh fcc uh first class uh, radio telephone now general radio telephone license with radar endorsement federal communications uh, commission's license pg 15 1299 april 97 till present at least this gives us a lot to look into um i believe uh, his license is good his license is no doubt it looks like a k n o d e l uh 1975 to present um i checked on another site and it, he does have i know he did or does have a, a um a, a pilot's license um certified novel engineer <laughs> novel sorry not novel but there you go folks that gives us something to look into if anybody wants copies of the copies of these Please email me at flatter3set55 at gmail.com. Have a great day.